I'm gonna be doing a little break 65 action out here. This course is gettable, I will say. Oh my goodness. I will take that every single day. We're eating now. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I think this is uh, my first video posted after all the New Zealand content. So if you guys have been watching all those videos, thank you guys again so much for watching all that. It's a special place in my heart to be able to show you guys the place I grew up at. But today we're out here at, in New Mexico at a place called The Outlaw. Uh, we're here in Ruidoso, New Mexico. Ruidoso? Ruidoso? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but this course is actually pretty cool. Um, we've obviously got my boy Shaler helping me film. What's up? And uh, I've been told that this course isn't like super hard, but it's not like a, you know, gimme golf course. So I'm gonna be doing a little break 65 action out here. I feel pretty good about my chances out here. We're at a bit of an altitude, so we're gonna have to play, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe 15% altitude on every single one of my shots, but see what we can do out here. Break 65, I think we got a chance here today. All right, should have, I think it was a pretty solid intro. I think I'm pretty happy with how I did that. Can't wait to leave that. No, don't leave that in. <laughs> Ball just travels out here. Uh, all right, 106 would be 92 in Dallas. Just gotta trust the number. Like a like a little bit of a fuller 55 degree here. It looks like it's. I don't know. I can't really tell. This is my first time playing this course, but it looks like it's kind of in the back. Shaley said it's in the middle, but I'm just gonna trust it. Well, had a little bit of roll out there. Obviously a little bit too far right. This putt should be moving right to left a decent amount. Greens aren't like super fast or anything. So I gotta, I gotta definitely hit it just a little bit. See if we can go one for one here on the first hole. Oh, a little too much. All right, well, it's par for me on the first hole. Not too bad. Still trying to get feel of the altitude, feel of the, the greens. I think that's a decent look for birdie there, but dug it. All right, second hole here, par four. It doesn't look like it's too long. Apparently it's, this hole is usually downwind, but today it is not. And it's also a little bit wet because it just rained out here. So a little bit of a different hole, I guess, but <laughs> it's the first time for me playing this. So it's not really different for me. Right there. Oh, big bounce to the right. What do you think? Probably fine. Probably fine. Just probably in the, some of this higher, this taller higher stuff. grass. It looks like it's wispy though, so it's not. I mean, it's definitely gonna be findable. I also don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. So let's go figure it out from there. Just a classic case of me jinxing myself right there. I'm in a not good lie. It is. It is still wispy, so that's still that's still in play. But uh, but yeah, 91 yards, which uh, in Dallas would be 78 yards. So I'm gonna try to play this about a 78 shot and I think it should come out a little short, which should roll up from there. So I'm gonna go with the six degree. Try to play a 78. Oh, I'm gonna go right. I'm laying out on that upslope and just killed all the killed all the forward momentum. All right, a little outside look for birdie there. Slow start so far. All right, got a, about a 30-ish footer, 35 maybe? Yeah, more like 30, right to left. Slightly up the hill, it shouldn't be breaking all too much. Oh, it's a little firm. Oh man, that would have been a nice bonus. All right, well, almost had a birdie there. Almost was one under through two. It's all right, still trying to find my stride here, find my, find my rhythm. Plenty of holes left, like I said. Hole three coming up, I think it's a par three. Try to stick it close. All right, hole three here, par three. Like I said, pin's kind of in that front left part. 173 is the number out here, which uh, back in Dallas would be 149. So I'm gonna go with a full pitching wedge. Still gonna have to hit this pretty solid, but I do think if there is even just a touch of wind, it's slightly helping. So got a little bit of help there. Sit, 
the right number, I think. I mean, either way, it's pretty solid. I think it's just kind of maybe like 20 feet. Hopefully a little closer. A little better look for birdie there. Let's go. Yeah, this whole uh, playing at elevation thing, I honestly, I never really liked it that much because especially on shots like this, I mean, this one maybe not so much because I'm hitting a full swing pitching wedge, so there's not really any feel involved, but if I'm hitting like wet shots, it like takes like the feel out of it for me, which I don't really like that. I want to like be able to like look at, like see what I'm looking at and just like feel off like visual, visual cues, I guess. Whereas like if I'm playing elevation, I just kind of have to like feel it off the number. I'm, I'm thinking in, in my head and just like trust it. It's just a little different. Never really liked it as much, but it's just a different mentality. It's also just kind of weird, like getting used to the ball just flying in the air for so long. Like this one looked like it was just freaking soaring. But hey, it's fine. It's like, it's actually a little closer than I thought, like maybe 15 feet. Should be a little right to left. Not really a whole lot to it, a little bit uphill. Come on, let's break the seal right here. This <sighs> wasn't a great effort. I could not trust hitting it that hard. Just not, not used to these. I'm used to faster greens right now, so it's like a, I don't know, I'm just trying to trust whacking the ball out here. <laughs> Couldn't quite do it there. It's three parts for the first three holes. <sighs> Come on, we need some birdies to drop right now. Alrighty, hole four right here. Well, echo. Hole four, par four. This is weird. I don't know if you guys can hear that echo. <laughs> I'm not even talking that loud. Going with a hybrid here, just trying to place it a little bit left of the bunkers. Shayla was telling me it gets a little tight there, so. I trust, I trust Shaler. Right around there. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep, don't trust me. That bounce was so big. That was a big bounce. Holy cow. For wet fairways too. I mean, I probably shouldn't have hit a hybrid, honestly. I probably should have hit a three, three iron, but I don't have my three iron right now. Which honestly, three iron probably was not the right play either with how big that bounce was. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> All right, well. After that massive bounce, I thought I was in the crap, <laughs> but we're fine. We got 111 actual yardage, which is 95 back in Dallas. I'm gonna go with a slightly bigger um, 55 degree, which I say slightly bigger, but it's more like a little bit past like a middle or medium swing. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> I just don't know what the ball's doing in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it is deceiving. Wise, yeah, this is why I just cannot tell. I thought that I hit that like barely a groove low, but hey, it worked out. Looks like it's kind of close, like six feet maybe. Let's go drain that sucker. Alrighty, got my little six footer here, a little up the hill, right to left. I just gotta trust mashing the putt here. Just get the ball to the hole. Should be a little outside the hole. A good catch hole. That ball didn't even move, did it? That was weird. I, I thought you missed that, honestly. <laughs> I thought I did too, because it didn't break at all. And it's all right. No matter how the ball goes in, the ball's in now. It's a bird. One under through four. Wish we had a little bit of a hotter start, start but hey, you never know when you can make five birdies in a row, right, Chile? Honestly, yeah. There, There is a birdie stretch coming up, I feel Ooh, like, so. I like that. Yeah. All right, we got a par three here, fifth hole. Uh, pin's kind of in the back right. We got 92. 192 is the actual, which is, I think it was like 167 Dallas. Probably gonna go with like a soft eight. It definitely has to be soft because there's not that much room past the flag to work with. So, actually, just kidding. I'm gonna go with a nine. Screw the soft eight. Full nine nine it is. Why is that drawing? Why does it also look long? Okay. I'm happy it's on the green. Not really all that happy that it's a good 50 feet away. <laughs> oh, come on, we need better shots than that today. All right, got my putt here. This is moving a lot. And if this putt was, uh, if the greens were fast, dude, this would be a really hard putt <laughs> just to keep it within six feet. But this is, uh, I mean, it's doable. I just gotta get it up there. And it should kind of trickle out, but not too much trickle because it's not really fast greens out here. So find a good happy medium there. Bit of a tester, settle. Dang, man, I thought that was high enough. All right, 
Hard part here should continue to break off this slope right here. Should be left to right. A bit slow as well, so again, I have to mash it up there. That hole be catching some balls right now. Oh, I was a little, a little high on the lip there, wasn't it? That was, that was just like the last one. I, was I like, know. I thought it was missing. <laughs> I thought it was too, dude. That was gonna be a high lip lip out, but it's a bit of a scary par there. It's all good. Par Let's five see. coming up. Par five. And get us to two under here, hopefully. Maybe even three. Maybe. All right, hole six here, par five, like we said. Slightly going to the left. It's almost not really a dog like left. It's almost like a tee box is just kind of off to the left right here and just slants over to the left side. But I'm gonna try to hit a draw um, with elevation. I think I'm looking pretty good, pretty good ways left. So just gotta trust it, hit a draw, hopefully in the fairway. She is drawing. Whoa. Dude, I didn't think it was going to go that far. That's a beauty. I was looking like short of that hill. Yeah, it's deceiving. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it kicked left off the hill because now it's, I think it's in the fairway perfect. Yeah, you're perfect. All right, after that pretty shot, solid shot off the tee there, we got 218 raw number to the flag. We're uh, continuing going uphill here. So I'm, I'm going to say it's 10 yards uphill, 218, 228. 228 in Dallas would be two, or 196. I could maybe play it safe and go with like a soft five, but what do you think this flag is? It's front. It's front. It's a red flag, so it's probably oh, okay. front. Uh, I'm going to go with the soft five. I like it. All right, getting a little sunny out here, so tarps off. Can't believe I said tarps off, and I'm just freaking fat. I am so fat right now. Ran up the slope. Out of breath. Oh, I just carried it just a little too far. Also, didn't really spin like I thought. Contact was kind of nice though. All right, well, wish that shot ended up a little closer, but we got a, I don't know, like 17 feet. Should be right to left. I'm seeing like an old hole plug. I'm trying to, trying to roll it like just inside the left edge of that old hole plug. Should be breaking a decent amount right to left. A bounce. I didn't see the bounce, but <laughs> my ball was in the ball mark. Dang. I didn't even see that. Honestly, I don't think it mattered real though, because I I hit that putt pretty much right where I was looking. It's a good solid roll. Honestly, the mistake there was just a, the shot coming into the green. I didn't know it's kind of like a roll off area on the right side if I were to kind of use that. But yeah, you kind of want to make those birdies on these break 65s. Got to take care of your business on these on these par fives. All right, hole seven here. Didn't quite take care of my business on that par five, so I gotta try to make it up here somewhere. Hopefully it's on this hole. Pretty short hole though. I think we can get maybe a short wedge or maybe even like a chip pretty close to the green. So go with the driver. Oh, why that draw? Right? Oh, uh, I think it probably bounced in, huh? Yep. I now have, I think probably the hardest shot in golf long bunker shot oh man it's an opportunity kind of wasted right there all right i'm in this left side bunker again like i said but as we were driving up to the course earlier shaler shaler was talking about some crazy nonsense talking about how he like picks his wedge shots his bunker shots i guess from like 50 yards we are at 52 yards right now so it's a prime opportunity just pick it like just not even like splash it out just just pick it what what else would you do would you use a 58 and try to splash it like hit behind it? I'd probably go with like a gap wedge, yeah. But and honestly, I don't love that either. And so. if you catch too much ball, you're on the you're on the street. Oh yeah, trust me, I've I've done that before too. So yeah, I mean the lie is great. So honestly, I'm I'm just gonna just gonna pick it. I'm doing this for you, Shaler. Yeah, I I'm feel gonna, good. I'm just gonna pick the shot. I trust you. Bite. Sit. Good shot. You know what you're doing, Shaler. You're always right. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got our uh, seven footer for birdie here. Should be moving a little left to right. Honestly, I, it feels like a little bit of a steal after having a pretty hard bunker shot there. I want to jar it. 
Hey. Okay. I'm doing decent today on the, uh, on like the seven, eight footers. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I should cut that out because I don't want to jinx myself. Yeah. Or we'll leave it in and just see what happens. <laughs> All right. Well, that gets me to that two under two under. through seven holes. I have, I guess, like, in a way, made up for that par in that par five. So I don't know. I still need to, um, still need to have my foot to the pedal here. It's definitely gettable out here. Hole A, this is actually a really cool looking hole. It like, almost like funnels in. If you're hitting an iron, it funnels in, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna try to go for the green. It's a little bit into the wind, so I don't know, it might be driver, but I'm gonna go a little safer, go with three wood. Worst case scenario, just have like a little chip next to the green somewhere. Chip or pitch. I think that's good. Screen? I mean, it looks like it's too far right. That's good? Uh, it's probably too far right. Was it fading a lot? No, not really. Not it hit really. it pretty solid. Oh, it should be good. A bad line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, not too bad. And they were saying I hit it too far right. They don't know. They don't know any better. Shaler knows. I know. All right. Well, we're uh, we're pin high with the flag on the green. Maybe like 35, 40 feet. This green is actually like pitched like front to back. So it's, this one's actually uh, moving right to left. Not a whole lot. Again, I'm gonna have to mash it up there. Just trust it. Come on, let's make an eagle here. All right. I don't mind that effort. It's a slight bit low, but it's all good. Beauty. All right. It's two birdies in a row. That's to get me to three under through eight. I'm gonna need five more birds. And uh, obviously, really just means we take care of business in par fives and we get three more somewhere else. All right, hole nine here to close out the front nine, par five. Shaler is telling me this is pretty gettable. It's only 535. We're already into the wind though. Just gonna aim down the left side and hit a little fade here. Just trust it. Right down the cart path. Fly ball. Well, that took some big bounces, didn't it? I don't even know where it landed, but. <laughs> I, I think it embedded, I think it, like plugged somewhere. Maybe. I didn't see a single bounce at all. Sheesh, that was a good ball though. That was solid. 172, 148 Dallas. We're into the wind though. So I would normally be hitting a pitching wedge if it was uh, not into the wind, but I don't know. I'm thinking going like a softer-ish nine iron. I honestly, I don't know. I feel like maybe even almost full nine iron could be okay, but. Yeah, probably. Something around that range. Par five, did I tell you guys this is a par five? <laughs> Short par five. Short par five. the distance right I just keep squirting it out to the right dang it it's all right we still got a putt for the big bird it feels like it feels I feel kind of guilty for this being a par five honestly yeah you know but the course is just generous that's just that's just what it is I guess on the card all right we got a uh, I don't know 35 footer should be going a little right to left I think it might be a little bit greens is slow but it might be a little bit quicker going away from it on the second half you won't you won't you won't Hey, nice putt. Let's Big go. bird right there. Hey, we're on pace now. What is that, five under now? Five under through nine. Okay. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> that happened I, quick. Yeah, I, I felt like early on in this nine, like it was just like, you better get something going. I felt like I was kind of behind and then all of a sudden I feel like I'm pretty decent spot now. Yeah, I like where you stand. <laughs> Let's go. Part three, down the hill, quite a lot downhill. This actually looks really cool with the trees right here. 46, um, I'm gonna say that's 126 back in Dallas. I'm gonna say this is down 15, so 111. 111, wind should be off the left. I thought I felt it a little down too. Off the left down? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the gap wedge, 51 degree. Basically just try to hit that one, 111 number and just, just trust it. This is exactly like the type of shot that I'm talking about there. Like, I wish I could like, visually try to feel the shot, but I can't, so here we go. See the number? 
pedal. I'd say that's pretty good. After all that math to get it that close. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sick. I was thinking over it. I was like, man, if something, if I did something wrong here, this ball could be like 10 yards over the green. <laughs> hey, it worked out though. Got a good little, I don't know, five footer for, for birdie. Shelly almost just broke his ankle. I almost did. All right. We got our little six footer for bird. This one's actually moving a decent amount. So I definitely have to pay attention. Got to match up the, uh, the speed and the line here. Definitely important on this putt. All right. Honestly, I wasn't feeling that great over that putt. It was a tricky putt. It was tricky. <laughs> like, I don't, you had to get it out there pretty high, and and also like trying to get myself to like mash the putt just a little bit because I know the greens are a little bit slower than what I'm what I'm used to. So, I uh, had to really trust myself there on that putt. But made a bird there, six under through ten holes. Par five coming up. Par five coming up. Jesus, <laughs> we're eating now. If you guys are serious about taking your game to the next level, I actually have my course manager program where you guys can get an inside access look about every single thing I'm thinking about on the golf course. Honestly, these videos I'm filming, I'm just kind of going through the bare basic minimums about what I'm thinking about. In my course manager program, I go into a lot more detail about little nuances on the course that I think about that really help you shave strokes off on the golf course. Here's a little example of what you'll find in my course manager program right here. So here, I feel like I'm into the wind here, but I'm looking at my compass here and it says south would mean that the wind is coming from the right, but I'm looking at the flag and the trees and they both look like the wind is blowing into instead of from the right. So here is one of the few cases where I... If you guys want to check it out, there's actually a free version of it. It's not the real version, but the free version is in the eye in the top right corner. Well, I'll put a link in the description for that. I also have a swing program. If you guys want help with your swing, that's also linked in the description. All right, like Shaler said, we got a par five coming up. This, uh, this also seems a little bit shorter on the shorter end. Honestly, driver is probably not the right play, but I don't mind being in this right rough area. Uh, I'm gonna go with a draw driver. It just has to not overcook, pretty much. I think right side's fine. Good left. Good left. I don't know how that didn't bounce right. Yeah. <laughs> that honestly might have a chance of being in the fairway, which I I did not see that coming with, with how this, this fairway is like sloped over to the right side. So even if it's in that first cut or in the rough, like I said, I don't mind it. Should be able to still go for this green in, uh, in two. I think a pretty short club. All right, we are just over here on the right side in the rough. And 148 is the raw number, which is 127 back in Dallas. So coming out of the rough, I think I'm gonna try to hit this thing like a 122, 123 shot. Apparently the pin's in the back, so yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even mind. Even if it hits like a, if I hit like a 120 shot, I don't think it's too bad. So let's try giving it a go. Well, unfortunately, I think um, I don't know. I felt like I hit that pretty good. The ball kind of did fall out of the sky a little bit though, so maybe it didn't quite get the altitude advantage, dude. Walking up hills up here is something else, but. All right, we got like a 60 footer, it might even be longer. Double breaking putt, let's try to cozy it on up for a little easy bird. That would have been funny. <laughs> oh, that, that looked like it was trying to. Yeah. We, me, me and Shelly were both talking about like, we both didn't really think it was gonna break right that much. But it did. It kind of did. It's all right. All right, easy bird. What have we gone the last few holes? Like birdie, eagle. So you went birdie, birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the slingshot I've uh, been just, telling yeah, you about. Yeah, you were just telling me about that. Caught some fire right here. See if we can kind of keep it up. I mean, I know these holes aren't gonna last forever, so we gotta try to get as much as we can. See what, uh, see what hole 12 is here. All right, coming up to hole 12 here, par four, I'm assuming, pretty dead straight. Is it par four? Par four. Um, there's also some sort of large animal in the fairway. Try to just zoom in on that thing. I can't tell what that is right here. Oh, it's a horse. Oh, what the? <laughs> Why is it just on the course? <laughs> He's chilling. Free range horse. All right, going with driver though. Just down the left side, cut it back. 
Don't hit the horse. Four. Scare the horse. All right, should be in the fairway. I believe. You are. A decent stretch of holes here on the back nine. Sprinkle in a couple birdies, a little eagle, a little surprise eagle right there too. So, I seen I seen a comment where you like, like how do you expect to shoot a break 65 if you've never seen a course? I mean, honestly, I've done it several times when I was in New Zealand when I was playing well in 2019. That hot streak of golf, I uh, did it a few times. I don't remember what a shot, but I don't know. I feel like there is a little bit of uh, the whole like ignorance is bliss kind of thing when you don't see a course and you see it for the first time like you don't really know where the trouble is obviously you don't know where you know good spots to miss it is either but ignorance can be a good thing on the golf course um, just kind of clear your mind up a little bit not really think about the negative stuff sometimes it works all right I don't know if you guys probably you guys probably saw in the drone shot the, the course was, the course the horse was literally walking on the green uh, all right but we got 63 yards to the flag which is uh 63 yards, which is 55 in Dallas. And I'm gonna say the front is maybe 48, let's say. I'm gonna try to go for that 48 number. Get a little cute with it. Just make sure it gets at least past 48. Oh my goodness. Shayla, you should've taken the flag out. I should've. <laughs> Should have had me tend it. Oh my god. That was nippy too. That was it nice. I mean it was gonna be far regardless, but oh it was gonna at least be on the green. Oh well. Let's try to chip it in. Ball never lies, right? I think that's right. <laughs> Can't believe I have a chip right now, but I got a chip just off the front of the green. Let's just like I said earlier, I'm just gonna try to chip this in. No! I'm gonna try to chip it in and then leave it short, bud. SMH. All right, well, unfortunate hole here. A little right to left. Like five feet, six feet from a par. Come on, ball. All right. I have been pretty good with those six-footers so far. You can see my ball mark after I hit the flag. <laughs> yeah. uh, bit unfortunate there, hitting the flag. I think I would have had at least a downhill putt. You guys know how I do from 15 feet. It's probably gonna end up being a par anyway, so same result. All right, hole 13 here. Another another pretty short one, but honestly, I think Sheila was just telling me he normally doesn't hit driver here. He usually goes, what, iron wedge here? Usually like a five iron and then like 100 yards in. But. Yeah. I'm going to go driver though, because I don't really see why not. Um, it looks like I can kind of miss on the left side. Not too far left though, because that's in the, in the tall stuff, but I can see why Sheila, Sheila told me not to miss right, because I can see why. I can see how it just kind of rolls off to the right there, so. Oh boy. Stop. Plug me this time. That could be not good. Could be. We'll, uh, we'll have to go and check it out. Is it tall grass over there or what? Yeah. We did find it. Bad news is it's in a pretty bad lie. That is, I'm not worried about contact. I'm worried about this stuff right in front of it. Mm. I got 46 yards. I'm gonna play it. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play like 55, like get it back there. There is a backstop, but I don't think it's gonna even come back off the backstop. So just for safety, playing at 55. See what we can do. Yeah, that's good. Dude, I was scared there was gonna be a rock right under the ball and there was. Look at that gash on that wedge. It's right in the middle though. I had a, I had a flush. <laughs> this putt should be going a little left to right. It's like, I don't know, 17 feet. This would be a steal. Yeah, it was breaking a good amount. I don't know, I feel like maybe if I hit that harder, it might've gone in, but honestly, it's fine. Coming out of that stuff, I was even lucky to even find my ball, honestly. I do wish I saw that there's so much room here on the left side. Like any, if I had to drive anywhere on the left side, it would've bounced to the right. Oh well. All right, coming up here to hole 14. We are still at seven under par, so we're still 
We still have a decent amount of holes left, but we're trying to get it to at least eight under. Got a pretty straightforward par four here. It's pretty straight. I mean, there's there's one bunk on the right side that I think it might be in play, but other than that, I think it's bombs away here. Dude, I am pummeling this thing today. Don't hit that bunker. Left of it? I think it's left of it, unless it extends out. Yeah. But that was nice. That was it nice. <laughs> All right, we got 57 yards here for our uh, little wet shot. Got pretty close. Probably trying to hit this like Dallas yardage is like 50. <sighs> Green's kind of like pitched a little bit away from us, kind of in the, in the middle section. So should roll out a little bit. Yeah, big bounce. I thought I hit that wedge shot, honestly, pretty perfect. And then I just saw it like kick really hard to the left and I guess it, you know, Shaylee was saying it bounced really far forward. <sighs> it's all right, we still got a putt for birdie. We got to make, we're still right on the number. We need one more to get to eight, to break 65 here. Should be breaking a little left to right. It's about 15, 17 feet. Come on ball, go find your home. I want it. I want it to drop. Oh, that's gonna be another par for me. Dude, I honestly thought, I'm still hung up by that wet shot a little bit. Thought I was gonna have a little tap in, clipped it nice. It's all right, still a par. All righty, par four coming up here. I think this one's actually a, a pretty, pretty well-sized par four. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Slightly going to the right. I think this is actually a good, like regular length par four here. <laughs> it's trying to go down the right side. Um, I don't think we need to go too far left here or else we go through the fairway, so. Oh, that's a little too far left. Stop. Whoa. How was the second bounce bigger than the first? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, I think it's fine. It's not gonna be like deep in there. All right, well, a bit unfortunate. To be fair, I didn't really hit the greatest drives, but uh, just kind of on the left side here, I do, I'm not able to get this ball up in the air. Um, I guess I can, but then I'll hit the tree. So um, I'm gonna go with like an eight iron. This little spot's kind of, kind of worrying me because I need to try to keep it low but I can't keep it too low or else I'll catch that stuff. So hitting the eight iron, trying to pitch it up there. Hopefully, honestly, anywhere on the green's great. Even if it's just short of the green, it's manageable. Go. 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 I will take that every single day. <laughs> Barely trickled onto the green. Dude, yeah, I thought I was gonna, I mean, there were some rocks right where that ball was. I was, I was scared I was gonna hit some more balls. It's all right, it worked out. Got a putt from a birdie here. Honestly, you know what I was just thinking of while I was, while I was walking up here? I need to not make my goal, uh, what is it, eight under par? I need to finish through my goal. Let's try to get this thing to 10. Yeah, I agree. Nine's been my best, I've hit it, I've shot that three times now. Screw that, let's get to 10 this time. Let's do it. Starts right here. Ooh. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I just freaking smashed that thing. Oh, all right, so that means if I wanna to try to get to 10 under, I'm gonna to have to birdie out here. I don't wanna assume that we have a birdie on that par five, but I think, I think as long as you take care of business again, like I said, I think birdie on the par five is probably given, but we gotta step up here on this par three coming up. All right, par three, like I said, hole 16, 16? Mm -hmm. 173 is the actual number. Back in Dallas, that would be 149. So I'm gonna go with the, the hard pitching wedge. If there's any wind, I think it's off the right. Maybe a touch of help. I'm gonna have to hit this pitching wedge good. Come on, ball. Oh, is that too far? No. Wow. I flushed it. Just wasn't enough. Still got an outside chance for bird, but man, I thought I hit that perfect. All right, well, got about 50 feet up the hill. Should be moving a little right to left. The, the, the last part I think might straighten out, so that's kind of confusing me a little bit, but get the speed right. If it goes in, it's a big bonus. We need this guy. You won't? Dang it. I 
did straighten out there at the very end. It was kind of flirting with trying to go a little right, but oh, uh, it's all good. It's not a bad two putt from that far, but I guess that means uh, we're gonna have to try to make an eagle here on this next par five. Eagle birdie will get us to 10 under. I just, you know what, honestly, I just don't want to be 9 under par again. <laughs> I'm tired of shooting 9 under par. Alrighty, got to the par 5, 17. It should be just a drive, kind of hugging the left side here. Um, honestly, I don't think it's all too bad, even if I do squirt this out to the right. So, just hit a good solid drive, right in the fairway. Should be fairway. Give me the big bounces now. It's actually getting them. <laughs> I, think it was, I saw one big bounce. Yeah, it rolled for a while. Let's go. All right, we got 187 to the flag here. Ball's kind of sitting in some weird lie, but 187, which back home would be 160. I'm debating on if I want to roast a nine or hit a soft eight. Honestly, right now, I'm thinking it's a soft eight. Flag is in the back, so I got a little bit of green to work with in the front, so. I'm gonna try to hit this eight iron like 160, 155. So I gotta take off a decent amount here. Get up a little. I hit that kind of weird, but I saw it bounce forward. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I love hearing that from you, Shaler. Love it. I love it. We, we both thought it was a little bit closer, but there's kind of a ridge here that kind of, I don't know, looked like a little bit of an illusion. We're about a good 40, 50 feet away. It's kind of a double breaker, honestly. But I, don't, I think this first part moving left is not gonna be that much. It's, it's mostly at the end, it should be moving right. Need this big bird, need it. Turn. Oh, I just turned later than I thought I was going to. I hit that about where I was trying to. Oh. Sorry, right, I gave it a good run at it. I think we'll just try to bounce out. So <laughs> that's a, a trend on this channel. Right. Well, hey, that gets us to eight under. I do still want to birdie the last hole. Just so you can shoot nine again? Yeah, I just want to shoot. I mean, I don't really want to, but I guess more the better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just make it even more of a mental barrier. Stuck at nine. Watch me hole out. <laughs> oh, let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty, hole 18 here, par four, pretty pretty straightforward, but Shaler was telling me it's probably not driver, but I mean, he can see he can see driver being the play. We just have to hug the right side. Um, that left bunker that we're looking at is in play, so we can't be going too far left. As long as I'm right of that left bunker, I don't think it's too bad, and I think we can get pretty close to the green. That's pretty much exactly what I was looking at. I mean, if it... If that ends up greenside bunker, I think that's fine. Yeah, I, it's not going to reach it. Oh, okay. So you, you should be perfect. Sweet, and it's a front flag too. Yeah. Hole out is in play. All right, Shayla, show. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't realize this was this small of a fairway right here. I think we could probably got like, I don't know, 20 yards of room to work with. To be fair, there is all this room right here and this is also fine. This is one of those examples where ignorance is better. <laughs> well, we got 51 yards trying to hold this out. I gotta get cute with it, try to land it on the front side. Try to get as close as I can to that like 37 number. Roll, roll. Oh my God, I might've missed my spot by a yard. It's <sighs> good effort. Let's go try to make that for yet another nine under. About a 10 footer, should be a little left to right, slightly up the hill. Come on, one last time here. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> why, why am I so like disappointed about yeah. 65 right now? <laughs> that is going to be my first time that I've broke 65 on an actual break 65 video, which like that's actually like to do it specifically on that video. It's it's honestly pretty hard. Like it, it breaks, like, I don't know, a low round just, just kind of happens out of nowhere. And to do it when you're specifically shooting for that kind of video, it's pretty cool. So a little, little, what was that? 64 today out here at the Outlaw. 
This course is gettable, I will say. I mean, I'm not gonna say this is a very easy course. I mean, it's the par fives are pretty easy. I will say it's pretty generous, but you still have to kind of golf your ball around. And honestly, I've said it all the time. Like, even if you are playing a, at an easy course, shooting eight, seven, nine under par, like you still have to make putts. You still have to get hit good wedge shots. Like. It's not just a Jimmy out there, even if it is an easy course. So hopefully you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video. And if you have, make sure you give me a like. It really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I'll see all you guys in the next one. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.